Colorado is coyote country. Also known as the prairie wolf and desert wolf, the coyote traditionally lives in arid climates such as the Front Range and High Plains. This land was home to the coyote long before it belonged to us. Lakewood is very lucky, as is all of Colorado, to have many green belts and open space areas that really provide a lot of conduit for wildlife to move in and out of what is basically human populated areas. Coyotes are regarded as intelligent and determined animals that are highly adaptive. They can eat anything humans can eat, as well as insects and small rodents. Coyotes are very helpful at controlling vermin and other pests who live around human communities. And they do so without the use of harmful poisons. They do really well where people are in general because people create trash, which creates rodents, which creates uh, prey and things for coyotes to eat. If you live near a park, open space, or even a golf course, you're likely to see coyotes from time to time. Coyotes are especially active during the summer months when new pups are stepping out of the den and learning to live and hunt in a larger world. Coyote mothers are very protective of young pups and have been known to challenge dogs and people who come too close to their den. If you're in a yard and they're, they're denning nearby, they see your dog as a threat to their pups. Uh, so they can definitely exhibit a, a aggressive behavior. They're also opportunistic predators. They will go after anything they can. If it's easy and they can get a meal and they have pups to feed, they will go after an unintended dog. That's why we think it's really critical for people to be extra specially careful. Although coyotes rarely attack humans, they do attack small pets like dogs and cats that are left alone. When walking your dog along trails or in parks, keep it on a short leash and keep it under control. While most coyotes will stay away from you, they may view a pet on an extension leash as prey. And unfortunately, pets, even large dogs, are no match for a coyote. What you need to remember also is that anytime your pet is outside, it can be a part of the food chain. So it's really critical for pet owners to protect their animals and do everything they can to make sure that their animals won't be in harm's way. Coyotes are bold enough to make a den near a house or even under a porch in order to gain easy access to food and water. If you find signs of coyotes living near your home, such as animal scat, paw prints, or holes that might indicate a den, there are several things you can do. Place ammonia-soaked rags and pepper around the den openings. You can also use mothballs. Install motion detecting outdoor lights and make a point of spending more time outdoors to mark your territory. If you see them outside your house, spray them with water, throw stones at them, and make a loud noise to scare them away. We'd like people just to do what they can to coexist with coyotes. We're kind of lucky to have them in, in Colorado, but we understand that you know there are limits to how, how comfortable they should be with people. By taking some simple and sensible steps, you can avoid conflicts with coyotes. Here are some effective ways to deter them. Make your trash cans inaccessible and securely fasten down lids. Do not keep pet food outside. Remove water sources from around your home. Do not leave table scraps outdoors for animals. Avoid putting out too much bird seed. It not only draws birds, but mice, rabbits, and squirrels that are coyote prey. Spay your dogs. Dogs in heat attract coyotes. Pick ripe fruit and keep it off the ground. Six foot high fences discourage them. Keep small pets indoors, unless you're available to watch them. And if you find holes in your fence, repair them promptly. If you're uncomfortable with the presence of an animal, you should do everything you can to make, to make that animal fearful of you. You should clap, you should yell, you should say, get out of here coyotes, get out of here. This is where I'm walking, you know, yell, make yourself large and scare it. Um, you can even throw things at it. We don't want wildlife to be harmed, but if you, you, don't, you don't have to feel threatened. You need to protect yourself if you feel threatened by, by any wildlife. If you're walking through a park with a small child or pet and see a coyote watching you, take action. Pick the child or pet up quickly and scare the coyote off. If you have any incident with any wildlife, you, you are certainly within your rights and you should fight back. Um, make that animal know that you are not prey. The Colorado Division of Wildlife can help you coexist with coyotes. Call them at 303-291-7227 or visit their website at wildlife.state.co.us for more information. Many Native Americans call the coyote song dog 
All you have to do is listen to their harmonies at night to appreciate the beauty and intelligence they bring to the outdoor experience.